Is that coming? Please come in. Please take your seat. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, are you ready for the exam? Yes, ma'am. I am very much ready. All right. For the exam purpose, we have to record your voice. Do you have any problem with that? Uh, no, ma'am. I absolutely give my consent. Okay, good. Thank you. So, we will start with the introduction session. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, can I see your ID, please? Certainly. My name is Suji Vargis. Okay. How may I address you? You may address me as Suji. Okay, Suji. Are you a student or are you working? Uh, well, ma'am, I was a student before mm -hmm. and I have worked in Kuwait for nine years okay. in the Sheraton Hotels and Resorts. And then I pursued my career mm -hmm. as an assistant professor in Rajadhani Institute of Engineering Technology for one year. Okay, okay. So, uh, can you Tell me something about a place you uh, born in Jota. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't hear you. Yeah, can you tell me something about your hometown? So, uh, I come from a small place mm -hmm. which is situated in Kollam district mm -hmm. and it's called as Punilur. Okay. It holds a very historical significant monument that is the Hanging Bridge. It is one of a unique kind of a suspended bridge mm -hmm. that was built by the Britishers in the year 1877. And just few kilometers away from the road, there's a place called as Temala. The first eco-tourism of Kerala was uh, picking from there. Oh, good. Okay, fine. So, are you interested in sports? Yes, I am very much interested in sports. Mm -hmm. uh, even though uh, I am not a player who is always uh, playing sports, but yes, I do take time to watch on TV and I like uh, cricket and football. Oh, good. So, what sports do you like more? Uh, well, the most I can say definitely is uh, football. Wow. I'm a uh, uh, since the memory that I have, I believe it was in uh, sixth standard. Mm -hmm. This was a time that I started to uh, watch football, and I still remember the magnificent player David Beckham and his favorite banana shot, which made me a fan of this sport. Oh, okay. So, do most people in your country like sports? Without any doubt, I can say that my country is a place where there is uh, opportunity and chances for various sports and most of them, they do love sports. Alright, okay. So what benefits do you think sports can bring to us? Uh, well, ma'am, it depends. Uh, either it can be uh, taken as just hobby mm -hmm. or a person can also perceive it as a profession and a career. Uh, sports always helps us to have a very good healthy life. It rejuvenates us, it energizes us. So yes, of course, I would say that it has a varied benefits in our life. Okay, and we will move to another subject. Uh, so are you interested in fashion clothes? Exactly, ma'am. And uh, I am pretty sure most of us, we, whenever we get dressed, we make sure we always uh, want to have the best look on us. So yes, I too am interested. So do you have lots of nice clothes? Uh, well, uh, exactly, I will not say that a lot of clothes. But yes, I do have clothes uh, required by me. But one thing that I can definitely say is uh, most of them are branded and I almost look forward for it. Alright. So, uh, do you like to wear fashionable clothes? Uh, well, ma'am, uh, it depends on the climate since uh, my country is having a very climate. So, it depends on what type of climate I am going through. And I like to wear clothes that is more uh, comfortable and adapt to the climate that is around me. Alright. So, how often do you go for shopping online? Well, online, I might guess that it is uh, mostly every two to three months, mm -hmm. especially we have a uh, lot of offers coming up mm -hmm. and it is like a bait which we usually click. So yes, most of the time I go for online shopping. Okay. So, Suji, we will move to the second part of the speaking section. That will be a cue time. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, I will give you a cue time. You have to speak about two minutes. I will give one minute for your preparation. And if you want to uh, make some noise, there is a paper and a pen for you. Okay. Right? So, uh, this will, will be your keeper. Okay? So, you have one minute for your preparation. Okay.
Okay, so do you know I'm going to have been on work? So you can start now. Don't worry if I stop you in between. Okay? So, please start. So, uh, childhood days are the most memorable life or the events that take place in our life. And uh, I guess we all are very lucky that we are able to go to school. And I too was uh, still uh, very lucky that I got to go to a school which was very famous in our area, in our popular, in our area. It was called as St. Ursula's. I do, I have a very, I can't remember the exact uh, year which it was, but yes, I do remember the date. It was January 5th and there was a slight drizzle. It was in Pune. And early morning when my mom, she woke me up, she said, get ready, this is the first day of school. The first thought that came in my mind was the first time when I went there for the interview. That was the day when my father, he bought for me a very nice gift since I passed. And I was very happy thinking that maybe today also I will be getting a chocolate. And the incident that comes, occurs in my mind is that, okay, I will go with them and then I will come back in the afternoon. So keeping on this mind, I got up and I got ready. I still remember colorful clothes and a very bright handkerchief pinned on my chest and then uh, yeah a red color water bottle since red was my favorite color and the usual spider-man bag yeah i'm too also a spider-man fan and then once i went into the school uh, as i entered the gate i saw a lot of children i was very happy and like to see the faces since most of them were crying but i guess i was not afraid and i was not crying that day i was still waiting for my gift so that was what made me very pleasant and the, for the interview that was the day when my father, he bought for me a very nice gift mm -hmm. since I passed and I was very happy thinking that maybe today also I will be getting a chocolate and the incident that comes, occurs in my mind is that okay, I will go with them and then I will come back in the afternoon. So keeping on this mind, I got up and I got ready. I still remember colorful clothes and a very bright handkerchief pinned on my chest and then uh, yeah, a red color water bottle since red was my favorite color and the usual Spider-Man bag, yeah, I am too also a Spider-Man fan. And then once I went into the school, uh, as I entered the gate, I saw a lot of children. I was very happy and like to see the faces since most of them were crying. But I guess I was not afraid and I was not crying that day. I was still waiting for my gift. So that was what made me very pleasant. And the first glimpse I had was the swing and the slide, which was right in front of the class. Maybe that was just a bait to click us inside. And then yeah, I took the bait, I went in. I had a first uh, chance to sit on the swing, uh, on the swing, sorry. And then I went inside the class. I was greeted by Miss Frieza. She was my first teacher and I still love her. I was very much excited to get into the close, uh, class that day. Yeah, yes, of course, I still uh, remember the day when I sat there, I looked around and then I had a friends with me. And this was the first time I met my friend Nihal, who is still my very good friend. And uh, the thing that always kept in my mind was maybe if my parents wouldn't have taken me there, I wouldn't be sitting here and I myself wouldn't have a chance to take my daughter to her school on the first day. So those memories are still fresh in my mind and I still have a mesmerizing memory of how I spent the entire day in the school and yes, I was very much excited to go to the school the very next day. Oh, okay. Okay, so we will go to the third part of our speaking session. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Which will be a discussion. Okay, so do you think students should be taken to school by their parents or go by themselves? Uh, well, ma'am, without any doubt, I would definitely uh, stress the word that yes, the parents must take them. It is a special bonding that's created uh, between the parents and their children. So, yes the parent are the one who should be the pilot to take their child to the school on the very first day. Okay, so should children rely on their parents or to be independent? Uh, well, I might not totally say the parents, uh, like the children should not be uh, relying on their parent, but yes, they have to be relied at a certain age and uh, they can also uh, take their own decision depending on their situation. The child and the uh, childhood days is like uh, mud, which can be molded into any shape. So uh, they are not very much perfect enough. They need guidance of their parent. But yes, like I said, according to the situation, sometime they might be given the freedom to take their own decision. So how can children become more independent? The best way is observing their parent. They are the first teacher. So uh, by the way, the parent are taking care of the things and how they guide their children. This is like a lesson for them and from the parents they try to absorb and inculcate. What is the effect? If parents interfere 
with children's life too much? Uh, well, I might say uh, there is not too much ill effect. Yes, the parent, they have to interfere in the life of their children, but also they have to take utmost care that uh, they are not nurturing or giving them too much of care so that they are not able to uh, be or stand on their own feet. They shouldn't be pampered enough. So yes, they should be given chance to take their own decision and most important, the parents should have a trust on their children. Thank you very much. Thank you ma'am.